Welcome to Mini Orange. Mini Orange provides a single sign-on solution for Magento. As we know it is the best OAuth SSO solution available in the market. So in this video, we are going to set up Magento single sign-on with Azure AD using OAuth protocol. Let's get started with the setup. Log in into Magento admin dashboard. Enter your username and password to log in. You are logged into your dashboard. Now go to the OAuth client extension from the left menu. Click on the account from the list. You can log in using the username and password associated with the Mini Orange user account. Click the submit button after entering your username and password. Here you will require the license key to activate the extension. Click on the where is my key. Click on the link provided to get your license key. For the license key log in to the Mini Orange account. Enter your email ID and click on the login button. Now enter your password here and click on the login button. Here you can see the license key to activate the extension copy it. Paste the copied license key in the text box. Accept the terms and conditions before activating the license key by clicking the checkbox. Click on the activate license button to activate license. Now click on multi-site settings tab. You can enable SSO for specific subsites by checking the required subsites from your multi-site environment. SSO will only be enabled on the selected subsites. Firstly, let's configure Azure AD as an OAuth provider. To set up your Azure AD as an OAuth provider, log in to your Azure AD credentials. Now click on the Azure Active Directory. Go to the App Registration from the left menu. Click on the New Registration. Enter your app name in the text field. Then in the Redirect URI section, select Web from the Select a Platform drop-down list. You will find the redirect URL in the OAuth extension which is used to tell the OAuth provider while assign the token after the authentication. Copy it and paste it in the given field. Click on the register button to register your application. Now, let's see how to configure profile or groups mapping in Azure AD. Go to the API permissions from the left menu. Click on the add permission button. Now click on the Microsoft Graph API. Click on the delegated permissions. Select the required scopes here, and click on the Add Permissions button. Now go to the Manifest tab. Here find Group Membership Claims and changes its value to All. Click on the Save button. Now go to the Overview tab. Here Application ID and Tenant ID will be displayed. Now let's get set up Magento as OAuth Client. Go to the OAuth Provider tab. Enter your OAuth provider name in the field. Enter the client ID here. Copy client ID from the Azure AD. Paste copied client ID in the given text field. For the secret key click on the Certificates and Secrets tab. Click on the new client secret. Enter description for secret key. Select the secret key expiring time from the dropdown. Click on the Add button. Copy secret key value and paste it in the given field in the extension. Enter required scopes here like open ID, email, and profile. Enter end session URL in the text field. Copy tenant ID from Azure and paste it in the tenant ID part of the end session endpoint URL. If you will have well well-known config URL then select well-known config URL option. Click on the endpoints. Copy the OpenID Connect metadata document as well-known config URL and paste it into the given field. If you do not have a well-known config URL then you can select the Enter Endpoints option. Here you can enter your endpoints manually. Here you can select where you want to send client credentials. In the Grant Type drop-down, you can select your required grant type. Enter JWKS URL in the text field. Copy tenant ID from Azure and paste it into the tenant ID part of the JWKS URL. Click on the Save button to save your configuration. Click on the Test Configuration button to see test configuration values. Here you can see the test configuration. Now go to the Sign in Settings tab. We will first see how to enable SSO for customers. 
For that, we will enable the show login link on the default customer login page checkbox under the show link on the default login page section. If you also want to auto create the customers if they do not exist already you can enable the auto create customer checkbox. Click on save button. Let's see how SSO will works for the customers. Click on the sign in. Here you will see SSO button on your customer login page. Click on the button and perform SSO using Azure AD. You will be redirected to Azure AD's login portal. Enter your Azure AD login credentials and click on sign in button. Congratulations! The customer successfully logged in using SSO. You are log out successfully. Activate this checkbox if you want your users to be redirected to your identity provider from the login page. Click on save button. Let's see how the auto redirect users to identity provider from login page setting works. Click on the sign in. You are redirected to your identity provider login page after clicking the sign in button. Enter your Azure AD login credentials and click on sign in button. You are successfully logged in using identity provider credentials. Activate this checkbox to redirect users to your identity provider from any page. Click on save button. Let's see how the auto redirect users to identity provider from any page setting works. Click on the any page from the list. You are redirected to your identity provider login page. Enter your Azure AD login credentials and click on sign in button. You are successfully logged in using identity provider credentials. Now we'll see how to enable SSO for admin. For that, we will enable the show login link on the default admin login page checkbox. If you also want to auto create the admin users if they do not exist already you can enable the auto create admin checkbox. Click on save button. Let's see how SSO will work for the admin. Here you will see the SSO button on your admin page. Click on the button to initiate SSO as an admin. You will be redirected to Azure AD's login portal. Enter your Azure AD login credentials and click on sign in button. Congratulations! Admin successfully logged in using SSO. You are logged out successfully. Let's see how to configure attribute mapping. Now, go to the attribute mapping tab. Attributes are user details that are stored in your OAuth provider. Attribute mapping helps you to get user attributes from your OAuth provider and map them to Magento user attributes like first name, last name, etc. Firstly, enable the update attribute checkbox. This helps you to update automatically users changed attributes. Now go to the attribute mapping section. Check the test configuration results under the service provider setup tab to get a better idea of which values to map here. Mapped username, email, first name, last name, role values according to test configuration. Now click on the map billing slash shipping address checkbox to map the billing address value. Fill the billing address attributes to map the billing address value. If your shipping address is the same as your billing address then enable the same as billing address checkbox. Your shipping address gets automatically filled. Now go to the custom mapping section. In this section, you can add custom attributes that are received from your identity provider. Enter the attribute name which you want to get from the user. Then click on the add button to add the field. Go to the test configuration and enter the value in the text box. If you want to add more attributes to get user information, follow the same process. After entering all the custom attributes click on the save button to save all the attributes. If you want to delete any custom attribute, copy the attribute name and paste into the enter attribute name field. And click on the delete button. Then click on the save button. Let's see how the attribute mapping works. Click on the sign in. 
Here you will see SSO button on your customer login page. Click on the button and perform SSO using Azure AD. You will be redirected to Azure AD's login portal. Enter your Azure AD login credentials and click on sign in button. Here you can see mapped attributes that you mapped in the mini orange SAML extension in Magento. Let's see how to configure role mapping. Now, go to the role mapping tab. Role mapping can be used to assign different Magento roles to the users based on their OAuth attributes. The particular roles will be applied to users once they meet the specified conditions while logging into Magento via single sign-on. Before enabling this setting, please make sure you've configured the attribute name in the group, role field of the attribute mapping section. If you do not want to automatically create users if roles are not mapped, then enable do not want auto create users if roles are not mapped here checkbox. If you want to update backend roles on SSO enable this checkbox. If you want to update frontend roles on SSO enable this checkbox. Let's configure role mapping for administrator. Copy group from the test configuration which you want to map to the administrator and paste it into the text box. Now let's map the group for the customers. Copy group from the test configuration and add it into the text box in which you want to map roles for the customers. And click on the save button to save the configuration. Let's see how the group mapping works for the customers. Click on the sign in. Here you will see SSO button on your customer login page. Click on the button and perform SSO using Azure AD. You will be redirected to Azure AD's login portal. Enter your Azure AD login credentials and click on sign in button. Go to the admin dashboard. Click on the customers from the left menu bar. Then click on the all customers. As you can see the user has been automatically created and the wholesale role assigned to it. You have successfully set up group mapping for the customers. Let's see how the role mapping works for the admin. Here you will see the SSO button on your admin page. Click on the button to initiate SSO as an admin. You will be redirected to Azure AD's login portal. Enter your Azure AD login credentials and click on sign in button. Go to the admin dashboard. Go to the system from the left menu. Click on all users under the permission section. As you can see the admin has been automatically created and a content writer role assigned to it. You have successfully set up role mapping for the admins. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries feel free to contact us at magentosupport at securify.com.